next the biggest cause of mortality in covid 19 it is this acquired or viral pneumonia okay so what we have to do is pneumonia in pneumonia we actually restrict fluids why because we already have excess fluid in our chest cavity from the last video you must have remembered obviously so when i talk about restriction of fluids again juices and fruits and plain milk and buttermilk and lassi curd all these things are into the target excess fluids are not going to help you in fact your lungs already have more fluid that is causing obstruction and not able to and you are not able to maintain your saturation so avoid excess fluid. i'm not saying restrict fluids completely avoid excess the limited amount of fluids that you have you can switch to some healthy options in fluids so another thing that we are going to restrict in pneumonia is salads again now this might create a controversy in some way see fruits are healthy salads are healthy but in this particular case these things can harm us a patient who is suffering from covid 19 has decreased immunity and whatever the immune response his body is creating all is going towards worsening his pneumonia okay he has a reduced capacity to fight with infection due to the stress due to the uh, spike in the cortisol that his body is due to the inflammation that his body is dealing with so in this time of decreased uh, immunity we are going to avoid all types of raw foods and uncooked foods so the number one healthy but uncooked food is salad and fruits so we have to avoid raw foods because raw foods can be a source of infection along with that we might remove all the sprouts from your meals also if you want to eat sprouts sprouts are a very good source of vitamins protein fiber which is good for us but you are not going to eat raw sprouts after making the sprouts you have to either boil them or steam them or add them into your soup don't eat uncooked food plain and simple so uh, in this pneumonia what i would suggest is again high protein diet high protein diet is very important for a pneumonia patient bone broths bone soups and seeds so high protein diet will actually help in the recovery of lungs our body is trying to remove excess fluid from the lung our body is trying to heal high protein diet is the fundamental basic need that you have to alleviate these symptoms so high protein diet. if you eat eggs start with two to four egg whites in a day keep on increasing the number of egg whites you can eat four you can eat six you can eat up to eight or ten egg whites in a day they are not going to do you any harm after, along with that you can include some cooked properly cooked chicken and fish into your diet you can get some bone soup even though fluids are limited but if your chest is not too bad you can have at least one uh, one cup alternate day of bone soup it is going to help you with inflammation it is going to help you with overall benefit overall improvement of your patient or yourself and seeds in seeds i would recommend the consumption of sesame and flax seeds so you can crush some sesame and flax seeds and you can add it into your soup you can add it add it into your vegetable in your dal in your chapati in any form zinc and selenium and some other important micronutrients okay these micro minerals are very important for your recovery so these seeds are full of omega 3s which are anti-inflammatory good amount of fiber good amount of calcium and zinc zinc is also our mineral to go zinc is as important as vitamin c so i hope i'm making myself clear till now so the next uh, symptom of COVID-19 is general weakness so it is because of poor nutrition or if you were not uh, initially poor in your nutritional status after the fever and also all those things you might start feeling low because now your body is depleted of proteins and other peptide molecules of of healthy fatty acids of vitamins so increase your diet follow a balanced diet routine follow all these restrictions but now you have to increase the quantity of food that you eat slowly increase the amount of diet you need high protein and high calories in a balanced diet next is hypoxia hypoxia is when the patient starts suffering from sh shortness of breath uh, he walks for a few steps and then he can't match up with his breath he's unable to talk properly without gasping for breath that these are the signs of decreased oxygen saturation 
no diet is going to help you your patient or you need immediate hospitalization immediate oxygen support and hospitalization okay ne last two symptoms are the mild symptoms but they can change into worse if not treated well so next is gastritis gastritis is the inflammation of your stomach lining okay you might not feel hungry you might not able to eat food and even if you eat food your food will not be digested properly it might cause you irritation and bloating so this is also due to infectious etiology and we are going to avoid tea coffee and spices such as red chili green chili black pepper and garlic for a while we are not going to include these spices into your diet and until unless these gastritis symptoms are gone away we will follow a soft diet that is rich in again protein and calories and soups depending upon the total fluid that we are taking okay last is diarrhea it is also due to your gi tract infection we are going to avoid dairy products we are going to increase soluble fiber in your diet and probiotics now best source of probiotics is curd yogurt and lassi but we are not going to have curd yogurt and lassi the another good source of probiotics is uh, pickled salads and uh, sauerkraut and kimchi but these things are also uh, they, they have acetic acid and citric acid they are also sour in taste so these foods are also not advised we will have uh, either a, a probiotic drink that is not sour or we are going to have a probiotic supplement so that it immediately starts restoring our lost gut bacteria okay so i hope this protocol is quite clear for you guys these are a lot of symptoms they might sound confusing but i would suggest even if you are not suffering from pneumonia or phlegm i would still advise you to stop the consumption of all these foods avoid all the citrus junk cold mucus secreting foods so that you do not develop such complications i have seen people who are after they are covid positive they go into isolation their saturation is good they are not having much symptoms but because of their wrong food habits because they are eating rice and curd because they are eating rajma and rice and or they are drinking a lot of fruit juices or cold drinks they start developing these symptoms so if you are covid positive or one of your known or your relative is a covid positive follow this diet protocol high protein high calories and avoid raw food and mucus thickening or foods that are going to trigger your throat or irritate your lungs in so guys thanks again for watching this video till and i was i know it was a long one uh, so thanks a lot if you have stayed till the end i want to make one more video after this that will cover the supplementation that we are going to add in our regime in our diet regime some supplementation that are going to help us fight with this covid 19 infection if you or a person known to you wants to take some diet advice you guys can always dm me uh, you have my number from my profile you can follow me on facebook you can follow me on instagram you can follow me you can subscribe to my channel you can uh, establish a contact with me i'll send you guys a diet plan and any other question if you have you can ask it in the comment section also if you have understood this video please start following it please share it with your loved ones this is a desperate time where genuine information needs to be spread everywhere there is a lot of hoax there is a lot of fake information being spread and i'm fed up of it let's give a chance to some good assessment a person who actually has a confident approach in treating covid 19 and developing a good dietary protocol for it thank you so much for your time stay tuned for the next video i'll see you guys next time until then you take care